Alright guys, this this whole of Heroes is actually a hard one for me as well on my main and that new account that I have, which I'm on actually now. I know it says new, not new for the Assassin, Lich and Olivia, because I think I have them. But new, uh, everything else is new. Okay, so anyways, I don't, even on my main, I have one con card, no skill ups, and I don't have the Dark Undine, okay? So the smart choice is to pick one of the LDs. If you have one, you pick the other. And if you have none, you have to pick the right one for you. So we're going to discuss which one is the right one for you. <clears throat> I know which one I'm picking for me for both accounts. And there's a reason for it, but it could be different for you because you might have that unit and you want the other one, right? So the Pokedex collection. All right. So Assassin, Lich, Olivia. No, it's always the light and dark is the right one. Like if you're a top, 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 top whale, even then you'll have a lot of nat 4 um, skill ups of these units. So you'll have to go with the LD units, okay? So let's have a look at both. Okay, by the way, because I don't have them, because I don't have them, I will put a clip of each one of them being used. Thank you to my pilot for showing me because he has them built. I don't have them built. <laughs> Who's my pilot? <laughs> But I will put a clip for both of them in this video, okay? So I'll probably put them at the beginning or right now or later in the video. But I don't know. When I edit it, we'll figure it out. Let's just have a look at what they do and what can they be used for. <clears throat> so Conrad, he got buffed to a 19 speed lead. Uh, skill 1, disturbs the enemy, target HP recovery for one, uh, two turns with a 50% chance. The attack increases damage to your according to your max HP. Inflicts damage proportionate to your HP to all... You know what? I didn't even read skill 1. I just re said whatever. <laughs> Inflicts damage proportionate to your HP to all enemies and weakens their attack power for two turns. Inflicts damage proportionate to your HP. Okay. So, so it's an AoE. With a 75% chance in each target in addition recovers the HP of all allies with the lowest HP by 10%. Wouldn't that be recovers the HP of all allies by 10%? Oh, HP of two allies. Okay, I thought it meant all allies. It didn't say all allies. Of your max HP. So if it's in Siege, you will recover for two of the units. If it's in Arena, only four of the units. And then this skill three changes the HP ratio and harmful effects with the enemy target, boss excluded, and the ally with the worst HP condition increase that attack bar of all allies by 20%. Okay, I'm just gonna put a clip of how you, these guys use. It's not used like Harmonia Molong, but can be used like a damage dealer Conrad. Okay, it's very hard to use, uh, explain. And here's the clip. So yeah, that's the clip. I think he's mainly usable in Siege. I don't think he's in PvE. I don't think he's in Arena. I barely think he's in RTA. So he has one use and it's some guild content. Okay. Now let's look at Dark Undyne. <clears throat> and she was recently buffed. And if you have a Leo and you don't have her, you want her, right? So, well, let's discuss why is that. So, she gets a skill 1. Attacks the enemy with a cloud of darkness to increase the ch enemy's chance of landing a glance hit for 2 turns with a 50% chance. The effect the activation rate increases to 100% of the number of harmful effects granted on the target is equal to or higher than yours. Okay, don't worry about this, alright? Skill 2 attacks all enemies. I didn't know it attacked all enemies. With a p dark pillar and... I don't have this unit. With a dark pillar and decreases the attack bar by 30% with a 50% chance. Additionally, this attack will heal an ally with lowest HP by 35%. It does not increase the chances of um, attack bar by skill ups, but it seems like it's okay, actually. That's that's a useful skill. Her sisters have the oblivion on that skill, too. And now this is what got buffed, and it makes it really, really good. Remember when Nana was paired with Leo? Leo will die, come back, and Nana's passive, and he's in that 30% range. This does that. But even better because you don't have to put your Leo on Vampire because it gives him a life train, okay? So it revives a dead ally with little HP and grants a turn instantly. If it's used on a living ally, decreases the current HP by 70%, which puts Leo in that 30% torrent range for skill 2 and get grants a life drain for one turn instantly. So he can go, he can be on violent, get to 30%, gets a turn, kills something with torrent. 
and heals back up all the way to full HP, okay? The cooldown is <laughs> five with skill ups. So yeah, I'm gonna get her on my main and I'm actually gonna get her on my ult because I have Leo on both. I just got my third Leo on my main and I got a Leo on my ult so I can use her in Siege. She's used in Siege, she's used in RTA, not PvE. <coughs> you could say some people can use her in um, Arena Offense, maybe like Jemaya, Leo and her, or like Hammer Girl. But yeah, that's it. You have to decide what you want. I think if you don't have her over Conrad, you pick her. And if you have many of her from the last Hall of Heroes that she was at, and you don't have Conrad, go with Conrad, okay? Like for the Pokédex. But she's very good if you have one Leo or two Leos. But that is very, very useful skill right there. Okay? I hope this helps you decide which Hall of Heroes video, I mean, which Hall of Heroes monster to pick in this video okay so thanks for watching okay bye, -bye.